Welcome to the Kansas State English Placement Test, the EPT. This short video will show you important things that you need to know when you take the test. Listen and watch carefully. First, you will notice that there are different ways that you can use the computer to take the test. You can use the mouse to move your cursor arrow, or you can use the trackpad, or even touch the screen to make your selections. When you take the test, you must follow the order of the menu at the top of the screen. You start from the left with the instructions, then move to the right as you complete each section. After you finish a section, a line will go through the title in the menu at the top of the screen. This means that the section is complete, and you cannot return to it. If you find that the words on the screen are too small for you to read, you may make them bigger by pressing Control plus on your keyboard. To make the words smaller, press Control minus If you forget this during the test, you can raise your hand and ask for help. At the bottom of the screen are some buttons to help you move to the next question or to the next section of the test. You can use the back arrow to return to a question or you can use the forward arrow to move to the next question. Or you can simply click on the question number at the top of the page. Remember, the unanswered questions will not have a line through a number. If a question in this section has already been answered, you can still change it. Do not use the back arrow when you are on the first question of any section. If you do this, the computer will think that you want to leave the section without answering the rest of the questions. Do not do this! Do not leave a section until you have finished all the questions in that section. You cannot return to a section if you leave it. Pay attention to these warning screens when they ask you if you are sure about what you are doing. The computer will let you know which questions are finished. A black line through the number will show which questions you already answered. If the question does not have a line through it, you are not finished with this section. If there is a question you want to wait and think about, you can leave it and return to it later. You can return to any question before you leave that section of the test. You could make these questions easier to see by clicking on the Review button at the bottom of the screen. The question will show as yellow, which reminds you that you want to look at it again. If you have time remaining before you leave one section of the test, check over all your answers before clicking on the Submit Answers button. What if you click on the wrong answer by accident or you change your mind? Don't worry, if you want to change an answer, it is easy to do. Just click on the answer that you want. However, you must do this before you leave the section of the test. At any time, if you are not sure what to do next, raise your hand. Notice that during some sections of the test, you may not see everything on the screen that you want to see. You can scroll up and down to see all of the answer choices you need to see. Do you like to preview the answer choices before you read? In these sections of the test, you might want to read all of the answer choices on the right side of the screen before you read the longer passage, or listen to the longer talk on the left side. Be careful during the listening section of the test. You can listen to each question only once, so do not click on the audio until you are really ready to listen. In the listening section, you may want to read the possible answers before you listen to the recording. Instruction sections. The instruction sections tell you what to do on each section of the test. Listening to all these instructions gives you a chance to relax and collect your thoughts. These instructions are not timed. 
You can even listen to them more than once if you want to. When you open an instruction section, press play before you start reading. What you hear and what you read should be the same. If you prefer to read without listening, do not play the audio. As soon as the instructions have stopped, move on to the actual test. But before you do, make sure you are ready because you will be entering a timed portion of the test. Remember, the instructions are not only important for showing you how to take the test, but they are also a good time to relax or ask a question before you continue the test. You may adjust the sound levels during the instructions. You should make it loud enough to hear all of the sounds clearly. Do not play the volume so loud that other students can hear it. The headphones can be adjusted to fit your head size. Make sure that they are comfortable so that you do not need to remove them during the test. This full test has a time limit. You have two and a half hours to complete the full test. There is no clock on the computer to tell you how much time is left, but you may look at the clock or at your watch. Don't worry about the test time limit. If you don't waste time between test sections, you will easily complete the test within the time limits. However, each test section has a time limit too. Look at the top of the screen to the right. You can see how much time is remaining to answer all of the questions for this section. You should always be aware of this timer. It is important. When your time is finished for each section, you will not be able to answer any more questions and the computer will take you to the next section. During the last section of the listening tests, you will listen to longer conversations and longer talks. This is the hardest part of the listening test. However, you can preview the possible answers before you listen. You should not listen to the questions before you listen to the longer talks on the left. Listen to the longer talk on the left, then listen to the questions. You may also take notes only for this listening section. Taking notes will help you remember information like times, dates, ideas, and examples. However, you must write your notes only on the paper that we give you. You will hand in this paper with your notes when you finish the test, and you must not share this information with other students. If you do not hand in these notes to the teacher at the end of the test, we will see this as an attempt to cheat, and you will be given a zero on your test. Now, before you start the test, write your name, WID number, and this sentence on the top of your note paper. Do this now before you start the test. These notes are only for my use as I take the test today. I will not let other students see these notes or use the information from them.